How to choose an executor. My name is Wanda Rochelle and I'm a licensed realtor and probate specialist serving Georgia, Florida, and Alabama. Selecting an executor can be a difficult decision. Today, I want to give you some tips on how to do it. Let's get started. The executor is the person you designate to ensure the wishes that you have outlined in your will are fulfilled. Let's look at a sample wording for a will. In this example, we see Minnie Mouse is the executor. Be sure to stay tuned to the end and we will discuss more details of this same will. So what are the tips? Tip number one, choose a person who is mentally competent, mature, and honest. The executor can be anyone that you assign. It should be an adult. It doesn't have to be a direct family member. You don't have to choose your children if you're a parent. It can be a friend or it can even be a colleague. I have a probate case right now and my client is selling the estate home. He is the executor for his elementary school teacher. They kept in touch and now 40 plus years later, he is in charge of her affairs. Just make sure whoever you choose is, have, is of a sound mind, mature, and honest. Don't have anyone that you can trust? You can hire someone to do it for you. They are called professional executors. A professional executor can ensure that all matters are dealt with impartially and in the best interest of the state. Check Google for professional executors in your area. Tip number two, choose a person who can make good business decisions. I have honestly worked with clients in probate and I can see that handling business was just not one of their strengths. People who make good Business decisions are timely, they're organized, and they manage their own affairs well. The person you select should have those same attributes. Tip number three, consider their location. Does the executive live in the same state or even the same country? If not, the probate process may be a little more difficult. I'm not saying that it's not possible, but it may be more challenging. Some courts will allow petitioners to attend any necessary court hearings via Zoom. Consider the executor's location because they will not be able to move the probate to their location. Probate files must be opened in the state where the person passed away. And guess what? If the person that passed away owns property in multiple states, they will have to file a probate petition in each state. Tip number four, consider designating a backup person to serve. Notice in the will example that I provided, they have Molly Mouse listed as a backup person. Let me show you the will example again. Having a backup person is essential. There could be a number of reasons why the initial executor does not want to serve. Maybe they are grieving, maybe their job is too demanding at the time, or maybe they just don't want to deal with it. So make sure you always have a backup person. Tip number five, explain the process to whoever you select. Please don't do this. You're in the process of creating your will and you decide to ask Kim. You call Kim and the conversation goes like this. Hi Kim, I just want to know if you would be the executor for my estate if I were to pass away. Kim says, yes, I would be honored. And that's the extent of the conversation. You don't want to do that. Make sure the executors know what their responsibility requires. Depending on the size of the estate, it will not be an easy task. Probate can be a lengthy process. 
It can involve completing a lot of paperwork. It will involve consistently communicating with all the heirs. Suppose there are 10 heirs. Make sure the executor is aware of all of this. Make sure they know where the will or trust is located and be sure to let them know when you have made changes to the document. Tip number six, give the executor access to any passwords and keys. Let's say the person that passed away lived alone. If they lived alone, maybe some of their bills or other accounts came to their email. Create a password list and have it in a designated place. We don't want to put our loved ones in a situation where they're searching for information or don't have access to it. That only adds to the already difficult process. I have a video that addresses how to create a will. Be sure to check it out. Can I choose more than one person to be the executor? We sure can. Just know that all of them will have to be in agreement when decisions are made. All signatures may be required on any legal documents. Any disagreements may cause a delay in the probate process. Choosing the executor is an important decision. Be sure to choose wisely. I hope this video has been a blessing to you on today. My name is Wanda Rochelle and I am a licensed realtor and probate specialist. My team and I are available to assist those who want to buy, sell, or invest. Feel free to like the video, subscribe, and comment below if you have any questions or comments. I'll see you on the next video, and thank you for joining us on today.